discussion might be a little bit overdue, but honestly, as the victim of an abuser, I would kind of rather talk about other things. This shit gives me PTSD, but for Cordy? I take crap from no one. Worth it. All right, let's talk. Okay, so if somehow you stumble across this video and don't know the context of it, um, Joss Whedon is the context of it. And today we had some explicit confirmation coming from Charisma Carpenter, who has talked about this kind of thing before, and we've all known about this, and none of this is a surprise. I mean, I've talked on my podcast a number of times about how I suspect that Joss Whedon is not, you know, like a great feminist, um, but just a guy who subverted a trope and then got a lot of credit for being a feminist and decided to run with it. Which, you know, something else. Look, Whedon is a great writer. I am not gonna take that away from him, but you know what? A human being can be a garbage person and also incredibly talented. You know what happens. Abusers are, by nature, fantastic storytellers. I mean, that's how they get their victims to believe that it's their fault and that they deserve this treatment and that somehow it's appropriate and correct. And let me tell you, that takes for fucking ever to unravel. So let me just say that I am not at all shocked to hear these stories coming from Charisma Carpenter, Ray Fisher, Sarah Michelle Geller, Michelle Trachtenberg, Amber Benson. Not surprised. We're probably gonna hear some more. And it sucks. So does this mean that I'm gonna pull up stakes and stop talking about Buffy at about the same point in the run when I had to pull up stakes last time because of my abuser? No. Wait, let me rephrase that. Fuck no. Do you think that I, for one minute, I'm gonna let that dude ruin what is, for me, a great piece of work? One of the great literary texts of our time? No. And I'm not boycotting his work either, and neither should you, and here's why. Because thousands of people have worked on those shows, and I don't even know how many are still getting residual checks from it, and should they stop getting their checks because that asshole? I don't think so. Not to mention the fact that they worked on that, and they're proud of that work, and it should be seen, and it should be heard, and it should be torn apart on my podcast. They deserve that. I lost my business, I lost six years of my life and my work to my abuser, who was, you know, rightfully so, full on fucking canceled. But that was different, that was just me affected by it, and I was able to rebuild that because, let's face it, I was the light behind that fire in the first place, so what the fuck, right? But these people, there's no reason to make them suffer for the fact that he's an asshole. So, no. I'm not gonna boycott Buffy or Angel or Firefly. These people did really great work and they had to put up with that asshole while doing it. So you know what? I'm gonna stream it even more. I'm gonna have it playing all night while I sleep. I don't care, give them the money. Of course I have to think the consequence of streaming or buying the DVDs is that yeah, sure, Joss Whedon gets more money too. But you know what? Here's the thing, they've done studies, right? People who make more than a certain amount that just gets them, I think it's like $70,000 a year, um, whatever gets them the basics plus a little bit of luxury, like the increase in happiness is negligible after that. It's just negligible and I'm sorry, but no amount of boycotting that you or I do is going to put Joss Whedon in the poverty bracket. So let's just not worry about that. And you know what? Go ahead and watch The Nevers too. I mean, they fired his ass, okay? So they did the right thing. As a matter of fact, you should watch it twice. Plus, Laura Donnelly is in it and oh my god. Gentlemen. But Lonnie, I hear you say there must be consequence, there must be justice, there must be pain, there must be payment. Well, look, I've talked a lot on Still Pretty, how Buffy is not about vengeance or punishment. Buffy is about protection. Buffy slays to prevent damage. As soon as the demon can't hurt anyone anymore, she lets it slink off into the darkness and think about what it's done. So be Buffy about it. Put a Google alert on his name. If you hear that he's gonna be in another show or that he's somebody signing him to produce something, just go ahead and write a letter and tell him that you're not gonna watch it if Joss Whedon is a part of it. If he gets a job that's any higher level than a key grip, you're gonna hear about it. Do what you can to block him from ever having the kind of power to do this to anyone ever again. Put a fucking chip in his head. Because the thing is that, no, none of these people should have the residual checks taken away, but you shouldn't have the things that you love, the stories that you love taken away from you either. They're not ruined. It's still Sarah Michelle Gellar, and it's still Michelle Trachtenberg, and Amber Benson, and Charisma Carpenter. It's still wonderful people, wonderful writers, Marty Knoxon, Jane Espenson, Doug Petrie, people who 
I mean, as far as we know, have done nothing wrong. But really, the people who need your support are the victims. You know, Charisma Carpenter, Ray Fisher, anyone else that we've abused along the way, they've spoken up for a reason, and that's to prevent it from happening to anybody else. And if you put up a big fucking fuss, if it looks like Joss Whedon is gonna get that opportunity, then you're creating a situation where these people don't have to talk about their trauma and they can start to heal from it. That's what my fans did for me. And I gotta say, I will never stop being grateful. And let's just, you know, put it in perspective. Joss Whedon is one part of all of these things that he created. And yes, he's a great writer. And yes, he had some great ideas, but it's not about him. We've made this great cult of personality around Joss Whedon and we can unmake it. We can take him out of the work that we love and enjoy it for what it is. There's a lot there that's good. There's a lot there that's worthy. And I'm going to keep talking about it every week. I hope that you'll join me. I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. God, I haven't done a video in forever. Mm -hmm. Bye.